Welcome back to my channel. Now I'm still exploring the city of Lahore and I've just arrived at Lahore Fort. Now this is one of the places that I was super excited to look around. It's definitely one of the highlights of the city and just at the entrance I'm already very impressed. It spans as far as the eye can see on either side. Now this was built in 1566 and it was built by the third Mughal Emperor called Akbar and he was actually one of the first people to use the brick formation. So this was one of the first buildings in the whole city that used the bricks that we're so familiar with today. So the whole fort is 52 acres, which gives you a little bit of the scale of things. And then on this side is where most of the buildings are. And the other side leads towards the old town of Lahore, which I was just looking around. Now just behind the building, behind me, is where the old river used to be and it's now moved naturally about three kilometres that way. And we're actually on a slight elevation here because obviously they built the fort on a bit of a height to protect the neighbouring areas. So the monument that I've just come to is called Divan -i Arm and Divan means court and Arm means commoners. So this was the court of the commoners. It's also known as the monument of 40 pillars for obvious reasons and when the fort was built the commoners would stand below and they would look towards the balcony up here where the Mughal Emperor would talk to his crowds. Now, although Akbar himself was Muslim, his wife was actually Hindu and she prayed to the sun. Of course, during the day, she'd be able to pray to the sun itself, but she said to her husband, what shall I do at nighttime when I can't see the sun? So he actually, on the second level, just behind me, I don't know if you guys can see that, he actually had a sun carved into the dome in the ceiling and she would put an oil lamp below so it would light up the room and she'd be able to pray to the sun even at nighttime. So in the time of the Mughals, when the visiting royalty would come to Lahore, first of all they'd go to the old town and they would bathe in the Haman and then they would come to the fort and this is the area that they would stay in and there are actually two levels. So in the winter they'd stay up here and then in the summer they'd stay down below in the second rooms you can see through the grates because it was a lot cooler because right now out here it's about 45 degrees. So this area is definitely one of the most impressive areas of the whole fort. It's called the Shish Mahal and it's also known as the Palace of Mirrors. And legend has it that Shah Jahal, the emperor, had a very demanding wife. And she requested that this area was made to look like a room that nobody had seen before. So he put all of these little tiny mirrors all around. And then at night time, when the candles were all lit up, this place looked like the night sky. But even during the daytime, it's very impressive. And genuinely, I haven't seen a room like this before, so his work was done. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed exploring Lahore Fort with me. It's definitely one of the highlights of the city for me because there's so much history here and the architecture itself is absolutely incredible. I've got so much more to see in the city and the rest of Pakistan, so make sure to subscribe. <laughs>